Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking at some more aspects of orbital mechanics. In particular, we'll be looking at how to relate the radius of an orbit to the period of that orbit. And if that sounds familiar, it's because it should be. We're going to be talking a little about Kepler's law of periods. Now, how is it possible to find the speed of an object in orbit? Well, we should be able to figure it out if we know the radius of the orbit and the time that it takes, right? So it's just distance over time. To find the distance, we need to find the circumference of a circular orbit. And the period is simply going to be how long it takes for the object to move around in its orbit. So we have v, the orbital velocity, equals 2 pi r, that is the distance, over capital T, that is the period. Alternatively, uh, we can use the equation for centripetal force, which is mv squared on r. And we can equate that with gravitational acceleration, right? And this means that we can obtain an expression for v just by rearranging the equation v squared equals gm on r, where m is the mass of the central body and not the orbiting one. So equating these two equations, we have uh, v squared equals 4 pi squared r squared, that is circumference squared, over t squared, which will equal gm over r, right? So now we've equated these two expressions distance squared over time squared and our gravitational acceleration. Uh, by rearranging this we end up with the equation r cubed, that is multiplying both sides by r, equals gm over 4 pi squared times t squared. Right? Can you see how we got from here to here? It's a simple matter of multiplying both sides by this denominator and dividing both sides by this 4 pi squared. So now we have an equation that tells us that r cubed is proportional to t squared. Would you look at that? That's Kepler's third law. That for a given constant, in this case, uh, the mass of the central body times the gravitational constant over 4 pi squared, we can say that r cubed is proportional to t squared. And because the mass of the central body will be the same for all objects orbiting, we can say that r cubed over t squared will equal a constant for all bodies orbiting the central body. Right? Right? 